Welcome to the next part of the module on Android Services and Security, which continues our analysis of how to program a started service. Now that we've examined the design of the download application, we'll delve deeper into its implementation. We'll start by analyzing the download activity, which contains an instance of a download handler that receives the path name of the file containing the image retrieved by download service. The download activity extends activity and displays a screen that prompts the user for the URL of the desired image to download. After a user enters the URL into an edit text window and presses the download image button, Android dispatches the download image method, which gets the URL string entered by the user and calls the make intent factory method defined in download service. This factory method creates the appropriate intent that contains the desired URL as intent data along with other information used to communicate from the download service back to the download activity. The start service method is then called to launch the download service to handle this intent. After the service has successfully downloaded the image and stored it in a file on the device, the path name is passed back to the download activity via its download handler, which is encapsulated by the Android Messenger interprocess communication mechanism, which we'll discuss in a later video. We'll now analyze the download service implementation, which contains an instance of service handler that runs in a background thread and retrieves an image from a remote server, stores it in the file on the device, and returns the path name of the file to the download activity client. Download service extends the service superclass and overrides several of its hook methods. It also defines a factory method called make intent that's called by the download activity to make the right type of intent to pass to the start service method. This factory method creates an intent that's associated with the download service class, adds the image URL as data to the intent, and creates an instance of the messenger interprocess communication mechanism, which encapsulates the download handler and is added as an extra to the intent. The download service later uses this messenger to pass the path name back to the download activity after it successfully retrieves the image, as discussed in an upcoming video. The download service class also defines several data members that store a looper and an instance of the service handler. These data members are defined as volatile to ensure they're properly visible to the background handler thread, as discussed here. The onCreate hook method is called when the download service is first launched by Android's Activity Manager service. It creates and then starts a handler thread, which was covered in an earlier video. By default, a service runs in the user interface thread, which we don't want to block during the image download process. So the download service uses the handler thread to retrieve the image concurrently in the background. The onCreate hook method next gets the handler thread's looper and passes it to the constructor of service handler, so its handle message method will be dispatched in the context of the handler thread, which is a common idiom applied in various Android packaged applications as we'll show in an upcoming video. The onStart command hook method is called each time a started service is sent an intent via the start service method. In the download service implementation, onStart command invokes the make download message factor method, which creates a message that will be sent to the service handler and used to retrieve an image based on the contents of the intent encapsulated in the message. This factory method adds the intent to the message to indicate which URL to retrieve. It also adds the start ID to the message. This parameter is passed by the Android service framework to onStart command and is used to indicate which request is being stopped when the download completes, as discussed shortly. OnStart command then calls the service handler's send message method, which uses the hammer framework to pass the message to the service handler's handle message hook method, so it can be processed concurrently in the background handler thread. The value returned from onStart command informs the Android service framework not to restart the download service automatically if its process is killed while it's running. The service handler class extends handler and does the bulk of the work for the download service by concurrently processing messages passed to it via the hammer framework. 
the constructor of service handler gets the handler thread's looper and assigns it to be its looper, so it will receive messages forwarded from on start command via send message. The handle message hook method runs in the context of the handler thread. It calls the download image and reply method to retrieve an image from a remote server, store it in a file on the device, and send the path name for the file back to the download activity client via the Android Messenger interprocess communication mechanism, as shown in an upcoming video. Since the lifecycle of a service is independent of the component that launched it, the download service must be programmed to shut itself down or it will continue running in the background indefinitely and consuming system resources. After retrieving an image from a remote server, therefore, the download service explicitly shuts itself down by calling the stop self method. However, to ensure the download service doesn't shut itself down until all its concurrent processing completes, it applies a common Android idiom for stopping a service that's covered here. This idiom is used by services that handle multiple start service requests concurrently. For example, in the download service, a second request may have arrived concurrently from a client via on start command while the download service was processing a first request in the handle message method dispatched by the service handler's thread. The download service therefore can't shut itself down when it's done processing the first request since that would terminate the second request prematurely. To avoid this problem, Stop self is passed the start ID of the request that was originally delivered to the on start command method and stored in the arg1 field of the message created by the make download message factory method. In accordance with this idiom, if download service receives a new request via on start command before calling the stop self method in the service handler's handle message hook method, the start ID will not match the last start request and the Android service framework will not stop download service at that point. Eventually, the start ID will match the last start request and the download service will be stopped, at which point the Android service framework will invoke its onDestroy hook method, which quits the looper and shuts down the handler thread. In summary, this part of the module analyzed the implementation of the download activity and download service, which are used to retrieve images from remote servers store them in files on the device, and display the images to the user. By default, a service uses the user interface thread and can thus incur application not responding errors if it blocks too long. In particular, a service is not a thread and does not create or run in a separate thread or process unless explicitly programmed to do so, as discussed here. Compute or I.O. intensive services, therefore, often run in one or more background threads, so service implementations often focus on defining classes that leverage various Android service, concurrency, and communication mechanisms. For example, the download service used various classes from the Android Hammer framework to process intents in a handler thread and retrieve images concurrently. Since writing these classes for each service is tedious and error-prone, Android provides the intent service, which codifies concurrent intent processing in a reusable framework that applies the command processor pattern to handle asynchronous commands expressed as intents in a single background thread, as shown in the next video.